Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week. I'm James Titko. Today's question comes in from listener George. Hi there. Thank you very much for taking my question. I really, really appreciate it. So I used to chew a lot of gum, probably on average over a pack a day. And a couple of years ago, I developed tinnitus and I was told by a couple of doctors that nothing could be done about it. However, when I stopped chewing gum, my tinnitus completely stopped. It vanished about a month after I stopped chewing gum. Why might this be the case? Is there any association between tinnitus and potentially the strength of our jaw? Thanks for writing in, George. Tinnitus is a ringing, buzzing or any other perceptible sound in the ears that lacks an identifiable external acoustic source. It's a condition that affects millions of people worldwide, ranging from mild and occasional episodes to severe and chronic cases that significantly impact daily life. It often shares one common feature. Its underlying cause or causes are complex and in many cases difficult to pinpoint. It could be related to hearing loss, prolonged exposure to loud noises, certain medications and medical conditions like high blood pressure or head injuries. For a subset of people with tinnitus, however, their condition seems to be related to the somatosensory system. Here to tell us more is Malcolm Hilton, an ear, nose and throat doctor and associate professor of extreme medicine at the University of Exeter. Thanks, James. The somatosensory system is a part of the sensory nervous system. This complex network of neurons responds to changes at the surface or inside the body. These changes can include movement, pressure, touch, temperature or pain. Particularly relevant to somatosensory tinnitus, and it sounds like in George's case, is the temporomandibular joint, or TMJ. This is the hinge connecting the jaw to the base of the skull. Temporomandibular somatosensory information is transported to the brain by the same neural fibres as project to the central auditory system. This enables the somatosensory system to influence the auditory system by altering spontaneous rates or synchrony of firing among neurons. In this way, the somatosensory system is able to alter the pitch or loudness of tinnitus. In other words, George mentions his tinnitus becomes exacerbated by chewing a lot of gum, which might be straining his temporomandibular joint. Given the proximity of the part of the nervous system which deals with his jaw and some of the key parts involved with hearing, it's conceivable that this is what's leading to the somatosensory tinnitus. Indeed, there is research linking temporomandibular disorders with a high risk of tinnitus. It's a curious phenomenon, but very interesting to hear about a possible case with such clear-cut on-off symptoms like George describes. There you have it, George. Thank you for getting in touch. And thanks to ear, nose and throat doctor Malcolm Hilton. Join us next time when we're looking forward to answering this question from Kevin. As I understand it, Petrol is a fraction of crude oil. Can crude oil be refined without producing petrol? If crude oil cannot be refined without producing petrol, then what will happen to all the petrol when we all drive electric cars? A very good point. Thanks very much for that one, Kevin. Remember to have your say on this and all of our other questions. Log on to the forum, nakedscientists.com slash forum. And be sure to drop us a line if you have a question of your own. It's chris at thenakedscientists.com. Until next time, from me, James Titko, thanks for listening and goodbye. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com. 